hello everybody and welcome to a new video on the channel in today's video we are going to talk about none other than the newly released archon forina the hydro archon arguably one of the best characters in the game currently so without further ado let's jump right into the video in this video we are going to talk about her talent her artifacts best in slot weapon and also some team compositions that re she really shines on well first let's talk about talent well furina has two really unique play styles the first one is being an on-field damage dealer and the second one is being a pure support character well the main source of damage for furina is going to be using her elemental skill well her elemental skill has two states the first one is called the Ouija, the other one or the second one is called numa okay uh the first one Ouija, is Whenever you press your elemental skill, you are going to summon three hydro bubbles, and those bubbles are going to attack enemies and deal AoE hydro damage to opponents based on Forina's max HP. And when you are doing damage or when you are dealing damage to opponents using her elemental skill, Forina will drain your party member's HP. So you are going to need a good healer to counter that. Well, that's when the, the second part of her elemental skill is about which is Pruma. Whenever you hold the charge attack uh, while using her elemental skill, you are going to summon the singer of many waters and he will heal your party members and also heal Forina. So her elemental skill is divided into two parts. First one mainly deals damage, second one is for healing. So if you plan to use Forina or as an on-field damage dealer you are going to need to switch between the healing and and the damage and whenever your characters have more than 50 percent hp the members will increase their current attacks power based on the number of such characters and consume said characters hp so they will uh, those bubbles will consume hp from your party members and in that way they will deal damage to opponents uh, this skill has a 30 second duration and only a 20 second cooldown you will be able to keep spamming your elemental skill over and over and over uh, allowing you to deal damage indefinitely while her elemental skill deals damage to opponents her elemental burst is mainly for boosting your party members damage whenever you use your elemental burst you will deal aoe hydro damage to opponents based on forina's max hp as we notice uh, forina's damage is solely based on hp so we're gonna talk about that in artifacts so her elemental burst will deal aoe hydro damage to surrounding opponents and will give buffs when hp fluctuations are triggered when the party members hp increases or decreases forina gains funfair stacks and based on those stacks will buff and uh, which will buff the damage dealt and incoming uh, healing bonus uh, the first passive of forina is that whenever you one of your party members gets healed by another healer or another source of healing rather other than forina forina will heal your nearby party members for two percent of their max hp once every two seconds for the next four seconds and also her second talent uh, buffs damage dealt by the elemental skill by 0.7 percent and this damage can be stacked up to 28 percent while it decreases uh, the healing that your elemental skill does by 0.4 seconds up to a maximum of 16 percent the last passive of furina is a little bit a little bit different than other characters uh, this one is really good for exploration especially if you are exploring underwater because this passive or her passive will decrease the cooldown of the abilities that you gain underwater by 30 percent which is really useful if you are trying to get those chests now let's do a little recap about what we just said so one of the strengths of furina is that she deals good damage scaling from her elemental skill and also her elemental skill can be used as a healing ability also you can repeatedly use your elemental skill without having to worry about cooldowns she's a great universal buffer as she your party members damage whenever you use your elemental burst as long as you have a healer of course she drains the hp of your uh, party members and also her being an off-field character with her promo form which will heal your party members uh, one of her weaknesses is that whenever you are running forina or the teams that you use forina in 
will probably require you to use a strong party healer to help gain or to help her gain the fanfare stack as well as mitigate the HP loss dealt by the elemental skill the Ouija summons. Now let's talk about artifacts. If you want to use Forina as an on-field DPS character, well, the best artifacts for her are going to be the Golden Troop set, the four-piece Golden Troop. This this artifact set is really perfect for her because the two-piece set increases your elemental skill damage by 20%, while the four-piece set increases your elemental skill damage by an additional 25%, as well as when you're not on-field, Elemental skill damage will be further increased by another 25%. So this set is actually perfect for her if you want to run Forina as on-field DPS character. For substats, you're gonna need to look for energy recharge because to keep spamming your elemental burst, Forina requires a lot of energy recharge to do that. So for flower, you're gonna need energy recharge, crit rate, crit damage, HP percentage, and maybe a little bit of elemental mastery if possible, if that's for flower and bloom. For sands, you're gonna need an energy recharge one if you are liking energy recharge. But if for some reason you have enough energy, just run an HP percentage main stat with crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, and maybe a little bit of elemental mastery. For goblet, of course, you're gonna need to use an HP percentage goblet or a hydro damage goblet. They're both really, they're both good. Uh, I prefer HP percentage because the talents do damage based on her HP. So running an HP goblet is uh, preferable. But you can run in Hydro Damage Bonus if you want to. Uh, for substats, Crit Rate, Crit Damage, Energy Recharge, and maybe a little bit of Elemental Mastery. If you are running Hydro Damage Goblet, uh, try to get some HP rolls on the substats. For the Headpiece, you're gonna need to use a Crit Rate or Damage based on your ratio. With, with For substats, Energy Recharge, Crit Rate, Crit Damage, and also a little bit of element, Elemental Mastery would help. If you don't have 4-piece Golden Troop, you can always use the 4-piece Tenacity of the Monolith, which will give you 20% HP, and also 2-piece Vorokasha's Glow, which also will give you 20% HP. So running 2-piece, two 2-piece two is uh, it's not the best, but it will be a good placeholder. If you want to use Furina as a support character or a buffer, 4-piece Golden Troop is the way to go with the same or similar artifacts. Using an energy recharge or HP percentage. For this one, you might need to use an energy recharge sand just because Orphorina is a, an energy recharge hungry character. So having enough energy will, will enable you to spam your elemental burst on rotation and will help you to clear any content really easily. Another build that you can run Orphorina with is 4-piece tenacity of the Melilith. If you are just running her as a healer or an all-field character, and excuse me, an off-field character because the four-piece tenacity of the Minilith, well, two-piece gives you 20% HP and the four-piece will boost your team's attack. So it's another stat that you can use. Now let's talk about weapons. Her best slot weapon is probably going to be her signature weapon, the Splendor of Tranquil Waters. It gives you crit damage and the skill effects or the passive of the weapon is actually really nice. When Farina's HP increases or decreases, her elemental skill damage dealt will be increased by an 8% for 6 seconds. And this effect can stack 3 times. Well, also, this effect can be triggered once every 0.2 seconds. And when your other party member's current HP increases or decreases, the current character's max HP will be increased by 14% for 6 seconds max two stacks and this effect can also be triggered once every 0.2 seconds which make this weapon the best in slot for her another good weapon for forina is going to be the key of khajna zoot the hp weapon nero's weapon it gives you hp percentage and the skill effects is actually pretty good too it's pretty solid hp increased by 20 percent and whenever an elemental skill hits opponent forina will gain the grand hymen effect for 20 seconds this effect will increase forina's elemental mastery by 0.12 of her max hp and this effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds and it can stack three times whenever the third stack's duration is refreshed the elemental mastery of all nearby party members will be increased by 0.2 percent of the equipment's Characters max HP being for you know for 20 seconds. Free to play option is probably going to be faster in desire. Well, if you haven't been playing the game since release, you probably don't have access to this weapon. But if you are an OG and you have this weapon, is actually a good weapon for her because it gives you energy recharge and the skill effect increases your elemental skill damage by 16% and the elemental skill crit rate by 6%. Artifact 21. On the other hand, if you are using Furina as purely a support character, you might want to use the Favonius Sword because it's a really good free-to-play option. 
It gives you energy recharge and at refinement 5. Crit hits have a 100% chance to trigger a small or to generate a small amount of elemental particles that you can fondle to on other characters. Another good 4 star option for Forina is going to be the fish to play weapon. It gives you energy recharge and the skill if, and the passive of the weapon will increase your elemental skill crit rate by 8% and also increases your energy charge by 16 percent so if you don't have any of the weapons listed before you might want to get on fishing because this is another solid weapon that can be used for forina jet cutter can also be a good option if you have that weapon uh, it gives you crit rate and the passive will but it will give you additional HP percentage or you can use a skyward blade or any other energy recharge weapon now with that out of the way let's talk now a little bit about some team comps that Forina really shines on well obviously you can run Forina on many different teams but the best ones are as follows my favorite one is probably going to be with Novelet Novelet in my opinion is the best DPS currently in the game because he deals really good damage as well as healing himself so running Forina with him will actually benefit him a lot. You will get Hydro Resonance and as well as Forina will buff your Novelet. Just because his HP fluctuations, because he can heal himself and whenever you use your, his elemental skill, he will lose HP as well. So characters like Novelet and Resley, which will lose and gain HP constantly, work really well with Forina. Especially if you want to use Forina as a sub DPS or support. But if you don't have any of the Fontaine characters, another character that can work with Vorina is going to be Hu Tao or Zhao. Because whenever you use your elemental skill on Hu Tao, you are going to lose HP. And maybe you will gain a little bit of HP from Vorina. And for Zhao, whenever you are using your elemental burst, you are going to be constantly losing HP. So those two options are non Fontaine in HP drain characters while Novelet and Resli are, are from Fontaine. You can also use Furina with Yoimiya if you want to use Yoimiya as vapor in Vaporize team with Yelan and maybe Kazuha or Sucrose and even Jean if you want to use a good healer. Because you know, as you know, Furina requires a good healer in the team to, be, to do really good. Also you can use Furina in freeze teams with Ayaka as well as Resli. Uh, with Ayaka being your main DPS using Kazuha to, to swirl and to keep enemies frozen. You can use any other support like Layla or maybe Diona as a fourth character. Another team comp that Forina really shines on is going to be the Electro Charge team known as Taser team. Beidou as your main DPS, Fischl as a sub DPS and Forina as a support or sub DPS. And also you're gonna need Jean or maybe Sucrose as the fourth character to uh, we're running the very decent venerier to benefit from to, to benefit from the buffy action additionally you can run forina in bloom teams or hyper bloom teams you, you can run forina in bloom teams uh, with baiju nilo and nahida or you can run her in hyper bloom teams with al haytham koki shinobu or even raiden shogun well that's it for today's video uh, i'm still as you can see my forina is still level 70 so i'm still Level, leveling her up still trying her with different team comps uh, i will keep i'll keep you updated on the channel i will keep posting some maybe shorts or maybe some abyss runs using forina so stay tuned for that that's all for me today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found something useful in this video if you found something useful please uh, don't hesitate to leave a like on the video or maybe even a comment it really helps out the channel that's it for me i will see you in the next one Rain cutter. Our bond is strong. I'll settle this. No, my sword. <laughs> Strike a pose. Let my name echo in song. Get with me. Just propagate.
your fate. Witness the power of... A bond is strong! <laughs> <laughs> 